Okay, we're starting off with an easy question. Uh, what is neurology? Neurology is <clears throat> it's the discipline that has to do with the nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Um, in neurological diseases such as headaches, migraines, uh, well, migraines, I have type of headaches, uh, seizures, um, Parkinson's disease, uh, nerve issues like peripheral neuropathies and so forth. And there are more. That, that's the discipline of neurology. Is <clears throat> what is your specific task on a day-to-day -day basis? On a day-to-day, -day, I'm like in the, in the, because I'm a just a general practitioner, so I see different types of patients. Uh, early in the morning, I come in here and uh, I expect patients to be scheduled in the morning. And if I have um, some records to review, I review them. If I have some imaging studies like a CAT scan or MRI scan or something, I review that. Then I chart, and then I um, look at the patient's charts. Those are scheduled to be seen today, and I go through that to make sure that uh, all the data that I need to see the patient or to use um, as part of my exam is ready. And then I, then. In my case, I go to the hospital and round, see patients that are, uh, that I see them in consultation, <clears throat> and then I come back and start seeing patients the whole day long. Uh, what kind of training and education did you have to go through to get to your current position? I had to go through um, like the regular education, which is elementary school, middle school, high school. Then you do uh, pre-med, which is pre-medical, and that's another four years of, uh, of discipline, and then you go through uh, medical school, usually four years, and then you go through specialty, I got residency, and that's another four years, and sometimes you do further uh, subspecialty, maybe a year or two, that's how it goes. What made you want to become a neurologist? And, and everybody has a different uh, reason why they become a neurologist. Number one, of course, to become a physician, you would want to want to help people, and that's where you are. You like to do it. You want to do it. You you get satisfaction of helping someone. Uh, number two, in my case, you know, my background comes from a different perspective. I used to be in in neuro research, you know, brain research, as biomedical engineer, and then. Then I built on that, and then I want to become a physician, and then that kind of fit right in, in what I do, uh, and then I and then I went into the specialty of neurology, and because I like the nervous system, I like a little bit of the challenges that it presents in learning it as well as applying it. Um, where did your neurologist career begin? Like where was like your first job? As a neurologist. Uh, that that began well. You can you can always say it began at the University of South Alabama for a specialty, and uh, then uh, for the, the current position that I'm in now as a private full-time neurologist, he began here in in Mobile, Alabama, and then subsequently here in Baldwin County. How many hours a week do you usually have to work? You work depending on and uh, what you do, of course. Uh, most of the time, you work. In my in my case, I get at least sixty, um, fifty-five to sixty. Sometimes could be more, sometimes less, because you end up in, uh, during the daytime. You work at least twelve hours to sixteen hours sometimes, and that's in the office. And then you you have some consultations that you do, so, and because you don't know how many consultations you have, uh, then that would extend it to about, let's say, 6, 7 o'clock at night, maybe 7, sometime 9 o'clock. So I would say about 60 hours. Uh, on average, how many different patients do you see per week? Per week, you know, you can multiply 20 times 7. Mm, oh, that's a lot. It's about 140. Yeah, about, yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's, that's in the office, and then you see about... On average, a, as an average neurologist who does consultation, you see about five to six in the hospital. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. So we kind of add them. That's part of day. Uh, can you describe one of your typical work days? Uh, I think that's what we alluded to early. Uh, a work day. Uh, come in in the morning. In my case, I come about six o'clock. Unless somebody called me for an emergency or urgency, then of course I come whatever, about two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, five. Usually about six o'clock I'm here. And, and what what would count as like a, an emergency in the neurology field? Uh, lots lots of emergencies. Uh, neurology uh, stroke is uh, mm. it's an emergency. Seizures an emergency that are not controlled. Uh, confusion, agitation, uh, combativeness is an emergency. Uh, loss of uh, any body function, uh, such as uh, sudden onset of uh, of uh, visual loss, is an emergency. And those are that, those are in in uh, so those are the emergencies that we have. And uh, the rest, the rest of them could be emergencies, uh, like treating someone who has um, uh, meningitis form. Or, for instance, it's an urgency, so you have to see them quick. They call you and say someone is having fever and having bad headaches, and we think they have meningitis, infection of the meninges. Those are also urgencies and could be emergencies too. What do you find? What do you find the most rewarding about your job, and why? Find rewarding uh, when I when I give some good news to someone. Mm. That makes me happy. Yeah. Uh, what do you find most challenging about your job and why? Challenging, no, it's different. There are too many. There are lots of challenges. A lot of them actually, uh, a lot of challenges are usual challenges, and we'd like to take them because that's uh, that's how you learn. Uh, and uh, some challenges nowadays there are the insurance challenges, uh, the economical challenges facing patients, and that's going to affect us. Mm -hmm. uh, some other. Basically, the the current environment where medicine is going that has become more of a challenging to us. Uh, is there any part of neurology that you don't like? Uh, that that's the part that I probably don't like. That has to do with the regulatory uh, part of it. The 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 insurance and the the, the the paperwork that we have to do I guess like any other physician uh, yeah. those are the ones we yeah, like because stuff. and the things that I instead of spending time with a patient or about the patient's condition I spend time doing paperwork and because we have to satisfy the the regulations and that has become a little bit more that's the part that they don't like mm. Um, usually, do you work with a group of people, or is it mostly a solo job? Well, usually, almost always with a, with a group, especially if a special a specialist. Even if you're not a specialist, but a specialist, because you you get consulted by different people, so you end up working with other physicians, the nurses, the nurse practitioners. So you always work with people. Um, are there any scientists or any doctors or anything out there that inspire you to uh, improve or be better at what you do? We always have. We, and that's the good thing about ha having our uh, meetings, for instance, scientific meetings or clinical meetings, but we do have lots of scientists that always inspire us to move forward. Uh, we look forward into good, 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 going, for instance, the, to the American Academy of Neurology, which is the biggest uh, meeting worldwide. Uh, and you always get inspired by the, uh, by the lectures. You always remember one or two physicians that have inspired you. Mm -hmm. And then they keep, uh, they keep changing as the time goes on. Our meetings and the interaction with other physicians, that's the most inspiring, I think. Is there any other medical profession you would have rather gone or uh, you would have rather done and why? I'm not, uh, I initially I thought of doing doing radiology uh, because of my background in biomedical engineering that's my background initially yeah. so and then the more I looked at it, the more I wanted really to interact with patients so and I wanted to do I was going to do something to do with neuro, neuroscience anyway and I thought the best thing to do is apply neuroscience to clinical neurology and that's the best thing because I wanted 
I want to interact with patients. I want to see patients. I want to to uh, to take challenges of clinical practice uh, using whatever tools that I have, and uh, and that's how I ended up. I, I would have probably gone to radiology. Um, would you recommend this field of study for someone that's looking to enter the medical field, or would you send them a different way? Or I would, I would always encourage them to, to do it, no question. It's very satisfying. Depending what we, depending, despite what, what we talked about, there could be challenges. But those challenges are uni, uni, uniform they, or universal. A lot of people face those challenges. But the, the good thing is you're able to face those challenges and, uh, and, uh, and deal with them well, and you, you feel very satisfied. So I would definitely recommend it. Nice. Well, that's my last question, so that just about wraps it up. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you.